In this video, we're going to use the par curve and par rates to bootstrap spot rates. First, we'll do this with a pen and pad, and then we're going to follow that up with an example in Excel. Let's get started. The par curve represents the yield to maturity on government bonds priced at par for varying maturities. And in order for a bond to be priced at par, the coupon rate on that bond must be equal to the yield to maturity that investors demand in the marketplace. And when it's priced at par, the notional will be equal to its price. So if this is a $1,000 bond, it would cost you $1,000 today to purchase it if it's priced at par. We can represent the par curve with a graph with years to maturity on the horizontal axis and the interest rate or coupon rate because they match on the vertical axis. And then we can just draw some examples. So let's say for a one year bond, um, the, if the coupon rate is slightly under 1%, this is where it matches the, uh, the rate demanded by investors. And then for two years out, uh, the interest rate raises a little bit and three years out, four years out. And then if we draw a line between all these dots, we're essentially finding the par curve. In the top right hand corner of the screen, we have the par rate curve plotted out as a table. So for a government bond with a maturity in one year, it would pay a 2% coupon rate. And then for a two year bond, it would pay 4% and three year would be 5%. Now, how do we find these spot rates given these par rates? That's what bootstrapping spot rates from par rates truly is. Well, for the one year, um, the spot rate is always going to be equal to the par rate. So we can just go ahead right away and put this in here as 2%. But now how do we find the two year spot rate given this 4% par rate? So we know that this bond pays a 4% coupon rate. So we can say 100, so that's the notional value of the bond, is equal to 4 plus 100 plus four, right? So 100 is what we get after the end of that bond. But we have to discount these back. So right here, this one is gonna be discounted by one plus the one year spot rate. So we'll call that S1 um, and to the power of one. But we already know what that value is. We already know S1 is 2%. So we can just take that S1 out and we'll put in 2% here. So that's gonna be 4 divided by 1.02. But then here, this one will be divided by 1 plus the 2-year spot rate, which we'll call S2, but it has to be discounted back two times. So now we just solve for this formula. What we're The only thing we don't know is S2, so we will just solve everything here. So 100 equals, and then 4 divided by 1.02 is actually 3.92. And then we still have 104 over 1 plus S2 uh, squared. But this time we can basically subtract 392 from both sides and multiply both sides by one plus S2 squared. So this is actually going to give us uh, 96.08 times one plus S2 squared. So the two year spot rate squared is equal to 104. And then we'll just divide both sides by 96.08. And then that eventually, that tells us that one plus S2 squared is equal to 1.0824. And then we can just take the square root of both sides to get rid of that exponent and subtract from one. And then we'll find that S2, so it's the spot rate for two years, is equal to 4.04%. Now we have everything we need to bootstrap this three-year spot rate. So this is going to start the same way. So we're going to say 100... So the notional value of that bond will be equal to, and now we're going to use a 5% coupon because this government bond at three years is paying 5%. So we'll say uh, equals five divided by one plus the one year spot rate, which is 2% plus five over one plus the two year spot rate, which is 4%, but this time we have to square that value because it's two years into the future, plus 105. So that's the $100 notional we're going to get that at the end, plus the $5 coupon, divided by one plus the three-year spot rate to the power of three. Okay, so 100 equals, and then we'll just solve for both of these values, which is uh, 490 plus 462 plus 
105 over 1 plus the three-year spot rate to the power of three. And then if we subtract both these values, 490 and 462 from 100, we'll find that $90.48 is just going to be equal to 105 divided by 1 plus the three-year spot rate to the power of 3. Then we can basically multiply both sides by 1 plus the three-year spot rate to the power of 3 and divide both sides by $90.48, which will tell us that uh, the... 1 plus the 3 year spot rate to the power of 3 is actually equal to um, 105 over $90.48. And then we can take the square root, but the actually the third root of both of these values, and then subtract both sides by 1. And that tells us that the 3 year spot rate is actually equal to 5.09%. So there you have it. We just bootstrapped the actual spot rate curve from the par rate curve. Here I've done something in Excel that's very similar to what we just did on pen and pad. Um, you can see the spot rate for the one year maturity equals the par rate, but then the algebra gets a little bit crazier for the two year maturity and even crazier for the three year maturity. But you can feel free to download this uh, spreadsheet for free in the link in the description and just play around with it if you'd like to see more about how, do, how does the spot rates actually change as you tweak the par rates. And you can just see a visual representation of this bootstrapping on both of these curves here below. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.